I studied English at university. I knew that I could go into family business if I wanted to, but I also needed to do something else in order to prove to myself that I wasn't just taking the easy option. I didn't study art or sculpture. I, uh, I went and got other jobs working in performance related areas, um, but ultimately the drawer of ice, you know, um, pulled me back in. Yeah, I grew up um, in a family where everyone was involved in ice sculpting. My mum ran the business, my dad was a sculptor, and if I wanted any pocket money at the weekends and stuff like that, then I had to get my boots on and pick up a chisel and make something, and I, I loved it. At university and um, after, I was working in theatres, producing and um, stage managing. Um, it's a tiny bit of directing, but I realised that's not quite my thing. It doesn't make me sad. In some ways, it's quite satisfying to see something deteriorate. It's part of, it's part of the sculptural process, which is that you make something that then deteriorates. That is kind of part of the essence of what you're doing. And in that sense, it's almost uh, more like a performance, um, like a live performance, you know, something that you see that happens at that time. You can capture it up to a point, you can record it, you can photograph it, but essentially you really had to be there to experience it. I'm not a very sentimental person. Um, so I don't get like, really, I don't get sort of, yeah, I don't get massively attached to the things. Making things is very important, understanding your tools, knowing all different techniques and stuff like that. And that element of it appeals to people who are quite practical and quite literal, as well as very creative. And I think that probably keys into why you don't care so much about it emotionally after a certain point. If it's a success, if you present it and it's a success, that really matters. So, so you know, uh, Anything that you're not happy with, that I'm not happy with, really does bother me. It's not that I don't care about that, but I don't care about the fact that it ultimately dies. That's fine. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.